Hi, I'm Tony Benson. And I'm Mr. Magistra Malik. And welcome to my Dalmatian Trade episode reviews, where me and a guest will review the episodes of Dalmatian Street, although the show may be for families. My reviews may contain strong language and other stuff, so viewer discretion is advised. And today we are going to be reviewing the episode Fox in the House. Oh my god. Fergus tells this elaborate story about how he robs Snowball's shop. You know, Pearl's there, and he does something called the shimmy, and he's telling this story. Dylan's hunting Dolly down because it's time for her to clean, but hey, she don't do clean, buddy. You know, just stop trying. And she's skating around, and then she doesn't know where she's going because Dylan's, like, in his way, and she's like, Dylan, and then boom. Skateboard hits Ferguses, Fergus in the head. And then, you know, he takes over the family, makes up a bunch of lies and other stuff. But I got a lot that I want to say for my thoughts on this one. Your thoughts on this episode of Mr. Magistra Malik? I really liked this episode because it was a story arc pertaining to Fergus, since there aren't as much episodes with Fergus in it. Aside from if he's occasionally helping the Dalmatians are like uh, going to cause some mischief. But in this episode, in contrast, he goes to the Dalmatians house and reaches off of them, which is pretty interesting. What about you, Tony? So my thoughts on in the box in the house is that when Dolly hit Fergus, he hit him in the head. But when they bring him into the Dalmatian house, his Delilah put the cast on his paw. His paw. The skateboard does not touch his head. This is animation logic as it's most confusing. It's like, it was hitting the head. How in the hell do you not get a concussion? I know this is an animation, but if you want to make this more realistic than the car really cartoon like Looney Tune like type animation seen in the first generation of 101 Dalmatian the series, then, you know. It's animation, but make it more sophisticated. You know? He got knocked pretty hard in the head. I mean, I don't I, I can't believe that didn't cause any like brain loss or amnesia. He didn't really got like uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Even though Han Hansel's the one that always forgets that Dolly exists. And it's like crazy. So Basically, they just come to his demands because he's the patient and stuff. And then when he actually starts to feel better, he's like, you know what? I'm not ready for the wild. The Lila's like, you must be ready for the wild. And he's like, um, yeah, totally. But he faces he's like, then he pretends to be hurt and is like, how could you? And I'm like, one of the, the one of the triple D's likes baby box. So yeah. Also, they do the whole Irish jig in front of him, and he's like, what's up with that stereotype? I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, that is true, but then again, I don't know if that is racist towards Irish people. But they do this hardcore, rock, maximum rock and roll thing, and then Fergus is, you know... Dizzy and Dee, Dee come over with the kibble, and he's like, it needs to be a little bit more cooked. I'm like, what? They, they cook their kibble sometimes. I haven't seen a stove in the entire kitchen. I see a sink. I don't see a stove. All right, they don't do any cooking. I mean, I know their paws can turn into hands, but this family doesn't do any cooking, all right? I mean, I don't even know if they have a fridge in that house. They don't have a, they have a cupboard to keep the kibble in, but it's like you cook the kibble. What is it, raw meaty or something? Anyways, and then the best part about this, my god. And I know a lot of my thoughts, sometimes there's an episode where I can't touch or don't have a lot to touch on. This is one of them. Did Dimitri's literally go, literally go 20th century mob boss, like Al Cap like, you know, Fergus is Al Capone in this bitch. You know, one of them's got a bonus like, yeah, you can't make an appointment 
with the boss unless you you gotta make an appointment if you want to see the boss and they act like they're fucking mobsters they're like gangster mob they act like gangster mobsters from the 1920s i'm like damn i love how they added that reference not only that but dylan's like you're playing poodle wolf in mom's and dad's room next thing you know he commandeers the you know they're at Doug and Delilah's anniversary bone, and then sometimes he's from the wild, and I can't trust Fergus. I can't trust this motherfucker. He teaches Dizzy and Dee Dee how to steal because his pearl comes in and asks them that a bunch of snacks have been stolen from that mini mart that Snowball's owner runs. And they're hiding it behind them, acting all cute, and like, eh, it's our nap time. And then it's like, oh, I gotta go. And he's like, oh, Fergus, you taught the D D Dizzy and Dee Dee are like, what, six or four? You taught little pups to steal? What the fuck, bro? Like, serious, will you? What the actual fuck? But overall, I love the whole mob boss thing. The whole Dimitri's turning into 20, you know, 1920s mob boss, like Al Capone type shit. And then they're realizing that, oh my god, he's faking it. Dolly's dragon, you know, Dylan out the door. Because Dolly knows that Hansel, that Fergus is full of shit. He's overstayed his welcome. He's faking his injuries from now on. So they're like, and eh, we're going to attempt to pull off the shimmy. The little one, one paw handstand like move. And then they tricked him and then he's like, oh, you are caught in the act, brah. He's like, oh, we look at that. And then whoop, he's out the door. So, yeah. An incredible episode. Would you change anything about this episode? Not really as much, since I liked how every single thing from the episode went. So, yeah, I like it how um, it started out as and ended like. What about you, Tony? Would I change anything about the fox in the house? I wouldn't. And basically, they said, literally, fox in the house. I'm like, roll credits. But I wouldn't change anything except for the fact that they just didn't get the whole, you know, medical assumption or Delilah didn't get the whole medical dynalysis. The skateboard hit his head, not one of his paws. And I wouldn't, and he's out in the wild, and he's bringing the wild in the house, and he's controlling his whole, controlling Dylan's whole family by turning them into a whole bunch of criminals, and turning the Demetrius into 1920 mob bosses, mob boss like, uh, you know, Goons, turning them all into goons, and Fergus acting like a mob boss, like Al Capone type thing. So yeah, I don't, the whole episode just makes sense. The only thing I would change is that, get the whole thing right about Dolly getting, Dolly skateboard hitting Fergus in the head. Not the paw, the head. And why this motherfucking fox does not have a motherfucking concu concussion. All right, everybody, we're at the ratings, zero being the lowest, 10 being the highest. This was enjoyable, man. I don't like Fergus at all. I don't like how he taught them the steals, so it's getting a couple points. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I had to deduct a couple points because I didn't like Fergus teaching two young little pups, Dizzy and Dee Dee, stealing. Just that's just forgivable. Unforgivable. You know, screw that. But because a lot of it was enjoyable, and I'm not going to go any lower because I, ha I loved how the Dimitris turned into, you know, 20th century mob boss goons and how Fergus became, acted like a 1920s, like, Al Capone type mob boss person. I'm going to just give this a solid 8 out of 10.
Mr. Magistral Malik, what would you rate this episode? I'm going with a 8.9 out of 10. Thank you for watching, guys. Share this and other reviews by going to the playlist and just sharing it all around, okay? I work hard and put a lot of effort into what my opinion is, plus the process that I put when actually creating the entire review for that episode. So a lot of them are underrated. A lot of them deserve more views, so help me out. And it might get people into the series to the point where Disney might change their mind, but there hasn't been official news if there's going to be a season two, they haven't had an official announcement yet, so maybe we can change their minds and keep the series alive. It's, it's great. It's got an amazing plot. Watch it on Disney+. Plus. Watch it on Disney XD. Watch it on demand. However you can, all right? Just make sure you're watching it somewhere. Anyways, don't forget to check out Malik's twitch and his youtube channel will be in the description hero's youtube channel will be in the description he might come back as a guest for reviews if he was in this one great if he wasn't then he will actually be in future reviews if he wants to i might try to convince him don't forget to also check out kenny tag he used to be called flash photo but now he's kenny tag on youtube and twitch so follow kenny tag I'm both. And by going to their Twitch, you can see when they, um, if they have a schedule or not, or, you know, check on them. Kenny Tag will take his Twitch streams and upload them to YouTube, so maybe go subscribe to his channel. Don't forget to check out my other channel, The Furry Gamer. I know I don't do a lot on that, but check it out anyways. You might like it, even though the, re the re review you're listening to... I work more on this channel. If you have any ideas on what I should review, like if you have a video or you've got friends that have videos, it would mean a lot if you would post those in the comments. Give me something to review at, react or review and react to. It would be nice. Give me a chance. And next episode is Fetch that we are going to review. And Fetch is an interesting episode. I think I might have a lot to say about this. So, yeah. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share the reviews. Get people interested in the show. Dalmatian Street is amazing. And bow wacko wow. Bow wacko wow.